Welcome to the demonstration video. I will be showing you how the ERP integration between Magento and ERP can uh, be working. This is based on the specific customer requirements and of course the, the eventual functionality can be defined based on your customer requirements. Now I will be showing you uh, a product detail page and category page when you are not logged in. Um, this is a B2B uh, uh, platform where the customer does not want to show pricing when you are not logged in. Now you will not be able to see anything like stock information or customer specific pricing. As you can see, uh, you can see the product uh, information but can only request a quote. Now let's log in. Now when you are logged in, the first questions you get is for which company you will be ordering. Now in this case there is only one company available, but you can be logged in with a user which has the right to place orders from multiple companies. Um, so he will select the, the, the actual debt number in here. And of course, uh, each uh, company will come with its own delivery addresses. Now, the selection of the delivery address is made here because uh, we have to do here with customer specific pricing, which is based on the delivery address. So basically, there are different prices when you select Holland or Germany or France, or maybe uh, based on regions. Now you can see we're logged in now. Uh, let's go to the same screen. And there you go. As you can see, it automatically retrieves the pricing from the ERP system. It goes quite fast. Of course, the speed is dependent of the, the, the performance of the ERP system as well. Hey, here you can see we are retrieving the stock information. This is in stock can be actually delivered already from tomorrow and these are probably not in stock what with the expected delivery time of two days or 75 days. Now uh, here the pricing is being displayed. These are customer specific prices so they are actually rendered by the ERP system. The ERP system says we are logged in with this customer and uh, he selected this uh, delivery address um, and the pricing for this product in this amount, now actually it says one pallet, so one pallet can contain more kilograms. Uh, if you go to kilogram, you can see the price per kilogram changes. This is the price per 100 kilogram. Uh, this is a requirement of this customer, but if you want to say we well, just want to display the price of one kilogram, that's possible too. Um, let's say we want to look at the details of this product. Uh, here you can see the tier pricings, so which are being used to calculate uh, this. So if you order more kilograms, the pricing will be lower. Now one pallet is 1350 kilograms, so you will be automatically um, in a lower tier. Now let's say I want more pallets. Here you can see the actual pricing is uh, per 100 kilogram is much cheaper. Now you have to order in a minimum amount of 25 kilogram. Uh, one pallet is of course already more than 25, so you're able to uh, place this. Let's order a product. This if information is all real time from the ERP system. Here all the billing addresses are being retrieved, so if he has multiple billing addresses they are being displayed here, as you can see they have two. Uh, the, of course the amount, uh, the unit you placed in your card, a re order reference number, this is for the line reference numbers and this is for the order, order reference numbers. The delivery address, uh, if you want to have uh, multiple delivery addresses or uh, each product delivered on a separate address. And the available shipping dates. Now, some customers have the requirement to have delivery routes. So they basically say 
uh, we only deliver on Tuesday and Friday in this case for this customer because they don't have any transport uh, during the rest of the week in that location. So this customer can only select these two days. Now let's say we want to have it on the 19th um, and everything is in order. Now each ERP system has its own business logic on the order system. Uh, for example, if you order a door, they have to add some screws to it. Or if you order a, a certain big amount, you get some additional cost or some license fees or some other additional fees. Now you don't want to copy this logic into Magento. So what we did, it makes an, a call to the EP system and it simulates the order processing. So it will check if there is any additional business logic to the order. Now, there is no, uh, nothing changed in the pricing and there are no additional costs or no uh, sh additional shipping costs. So the price will stay the same. But if you have a specific business rule in your EP system, it will be displayed here and you get your modified order data back. Now, we place the order. Here you can see, thank you for your order confirmation. Now this is the actual order uh, number from your EP system. So this is not anymore the Magento order data. We do not actually use the Magento order data anymore. Let's go to my account and see uh, what we are using. Here, this is the only information we store in Magento. Now here you can see all his orders. So based on the, the company number he selected, this order date has been presented. Now this is all real time for, from the ERP system. So if you have an order placed in the ERP system and which is not being placed through Magento, it's also being displayed here. Now let's go to the product detail or order detail page. Here you go, and now you get the order detail information. Um, of course, this can be uh, modified or uh, or changed to uh, your customer requirements. But this data is all real time being retrieved from the EAP system. So any modifications being made in orders are right available here. This was the demonstration video. I want to thank you for your time.